Hey everyone, I just got this new car stereo in the mail and I thought we could do a two part video. First unboxing it, see everything that's included, what it looks like, and then I'll go take a look at what it looks like in my car. Um, see how it actually functions and how it actually works. So first things first, let's open it up and get into it. So this is a CarPlay slash Android Auto. Uh, I'll just call it a radio enhancement. Um, it's it's an additional screen for your car stereo that will display the CarPlay interface and and uh, pipe that into your car stereo if you have like an aux input um, and feed the sound into your system so that you don't have to worry about Bluetooth or or whatever. And if you don't have a, a double DIN or a screen in your car, you can still get that CarPlay interface to get your maps and all of your phone calls and your different music on your. Uh, in your vehicle and go. So, get the box here and we'll take off the top. And the first thing you see is the screen. So these are really cool. It's like having a little tablet or um, a radio in your car with a screen. And it has a mount on the back so that you can mount it. On the side, it has your auxiliary in, um, audio video in, USB, micro SD and a 12 volt. So we'll set that to the side and see what else that comes with it. So in the box, um, you have your cigarette lighter adapter, so this will power it. Uh, this is one option. The other option will be to hardwire it into your car if you wanted a more permanent solution, but this is nice because this allows you to take it in, take it out, make it on the go if you, if you so choose. Uh, it comes with a aux cord. So this is the cord that's going to actually run from the CarPlay screen into the input of your car stereo. And this one's going to transmit the sound over through your car speakers. And then it looks like we've got a couple of different mount options. So the first mount type looks to be a sticky pad, like a, a double-sided sticky pad here that you can then mount onto your dash. And then it gives you the... Uh, screen holder like that so you can mount it somewhere where you have a large flat area where you can do the mounting. The other option which is probably what most people end up using um, because it is versatile and it is not permanent per se um, would be like your uh, windshield mount or if you have a really flat dash or something you know where you can mount this but most people would mount this onto, um, on, onto the window their front windshield, suction cups to it, like several other types of accessories, and then that would clip it in and hold your uh, device. So we will pop that in and take a look. So there, that's, that's what you're left with. So this will hold. So very cool. Um, all in all, everything feels very nice quality and durable. Like, you know, that it will hold. I mean, it's not even taken off the bottom or anything. It's already turned the suction cup to my table, so that's cool. Um, the actual screen unit feels similar to like a small tablet. Um, it has a nice feeling touch screen, uh, a durable plastic case. It's not thin or flex, you know, flimsy feeling. Uh, and this will, you know, create your mount and uh, go in your car and be ready to go. So next up, I will take it out to where I want to install it and we'll see how it actually functions. All right guys, I'm back and here I'm gonna show you uh, plugging it in for the first time and, and how it works. One place I've really wanted to add CarPlay, wireless CarPlay for that is inside my golf cart. I have a uh, Bluetooth radio in there and it does have an aux in and I wanted to add some CarPlay capabilities so that when I get in and ride around, I can just use my phone and do CarPlay. So here I am going to plug in the 12 volt power and we will see what happens. So here we get a kind of a boot up display splash screen and it comes up to a main menu with several different options, uh, streaming via AirPlay, using Android Auto Link. Um, you can actually, instead of doing um, an aux cable, you can actually transmit through FM 
to your the FM radio on your on your car uh, or cart <laughs> to your other radio, and then you can use the inputs of an SD card or a USB. And then up here at the top is where you select either uh, CarPlay or Android Auto. So I'm going to select CarPlay to hook up my iPhone, and here it gives me some instructions that I need to connect to the Bluetooth and all that. So give me just a moment. I'm going to. I'm going to connect to the Bluetooth. All right, guys, I selected the, pause for a second when I connected, but I uh, selected the Bluetooth for that device. It asked me if I wanted to sync up via CarPlay and sync all my contacts and such, and there I go. Uh, wow, I have a CarPlay interface. So it's showing me uh, maps, it has music, contacts, uh, here I've got a, a button I can open and close my garage door. If I click over, I have full access to the different apps. I'm sorry, the screen, here we go, there's a better angle. Um, the screen has all, shows me all the different apps and such that I can select from. So I can, I can uh, click over to maps, to see GPS. I can go over to uh, music, um, whatever I want to do, I have the, the capability of, of flipping around and going to that from a, um, an Apple CarPlay interface. So that is uh, really cool. Um, and now I've got portable CarPlay that I can use here in my golf cart. I can take into a car if I wanted to or to another uh, another device that has FM radio or auxiliary in and have CarPlay wherever I go. So all in all, a uh, very nice enhancement to what is normally a, a boring and dull uh, car radio now has CarPlay enhancement added to it. Definitely uh, worth the money and check it out, especially if you are an Apple or Android user and enjoy the car interfaces. Thanks everyone.